This is Wole Kenzo. I'm here with Coach Fred Bassler of the UMES women's basketball team. UMES defeated George Washington 62-59. First off, any reports on Maya Thomas Shigar? She went down with an ankle injury. Uh, I'm concerned about that. Okay, uh -huh. uh, so we're going to wait and see. Uh, I think the next 24 hours we'll really know. Mm -hmm. But I saw her with ice, and I think that she'll be okay. It's not anything more serious than then maybe uh, an ankle sprain that could cause her to be out for more than any time I wanted her to be out. Of course, of course. You all had a slow start, and I, I attributed, that, uh, attributed that to like Maya being in foul trouble, but, but what was your thoughts on that slow start and how you all were able to overcome that? It was tough, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, five points in a quarter at mm -hmm. homecoming, mm -hmm. you know, it was really you get down on yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you start to get frustrated. The foul, you know, being in foul trouble with both two, two starters in like the first five or six possessions, mm -hmm. We had to overcome a lot mentally, yeah. and I thought we over, overcame that well with 20 points in the second quarter. Yeah, yeah. And in the third quarter, we came out and we, uh, you know, we played well enough in the third quarter to cut the lead from mm. the second half, from the, uh, from halftime. So mm. I was just really pleased at the resiliency that this group shows. Man, they continue to show that they can fight back and bounce back. And then we just got to learn how to make better decisions to mm. make things a little easier than we have to sometimes. But speaking of that second half, you mean you got you, Maya was back, back to be able to play her game because mm. not being in foul trouble now she's like comfortable speak about her her leadership and her, her qualities in that in that third in that third quarter she wants it mm -hmm. uh, the one the kid wants it I had to tell her a little bit after being in foul trouble to relax mm -hmm. but she's aggressive uh, I'm just enjoying coaching her you know I, you know having a kid that I've had for four years mm -hmm. this is her fifth year we didn't we didn't compete one year but to watch her grow develop as a ball player and as a young woman and mm -hmm. to be a part of that uh, it, it makes this journey it makes this 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 occupation really special well we don't talk about this unless you have a closer Let's yeah. talk about Z. What Z. does Z do down, down the stretch? He, she was driving to the basket, step back jumpers. He talk about her, her, how she closed the game out for you all. She's just a tough guard. I mean, mm -hmm. she's hard to guard. Like, the, mm -hmm. both her and Maya, and, and particularly with her, Maya gives you a different challenge with her craftiness, but Z is just a beast mm -hmm. with the basketball. Mm -hmm. Staying in front of her, her body control, and able to finish shots. Uh, you know, I thought she pressed a little bit early on because mm -hmm. she hasn't been playing well. Mm -hmm. And I think Z has to learn how to be a great player. Mm -hmm. uh, She's a, she has the talent to be a great player, but I think she's got to learn how to be a great player mm -hmm. night in and night out. Mm -hmm. Once she gets that, you know, I always say, you know, she's, she's a kid that can get paid to play this game because she's special. But also taking the challenge to play to protect their best player down the stretch. Oh, she won't back down for anything. Yeah. You know, she's just a girl from North Philly. She loves <laughs> to say that little thing, just a little girl from North Philly who, you know, she's, she's a tough kid. Uh, she's a tough-minded kid. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoy having her. I mean, we deal, we've dealt with a lot of challenges. Uh, academic challenges and uh, social challenges, and even 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 family and stuff that she has to. We, we all get with with our kids throughout mm -hmm. four four or five four years of time, mm -hmm. and she's always been able to overcome them and see the positive light mm -hmm. in things. And uh, we're fortunate to have her, and I appreciate the fact that her family has allowed me to play the role that I'm playing with her more than just a coach, but as a mentor. And I feel like we're like we're like I I, I didn't haven't talked about in the beginning. We're undermining this team to beat a George Washington team that was undefeated. Going into like so, you beat this. You beat a team that has already beaten Howard or whatnot. This team is was undefeated. Came came to your house and you all, you were able to give them their first loss. Talk about your team's toughness, resilience. Again, being down early in the first quarter and then not losing their composure and, and finishing this game out and winning a big homecoming game. Well, they they always they, GW is a real tough team, especially with the guard they have. Mm -hmm. She's. She's amazing. She can she can score in multiple ways. She puts pressure. She's smart. She's able to draw fouls and, and get things going for her team and get her teammates going. Uh, that's a pretty good team. It's a mm -hmm. solid team. Uh, we want to be able to beat teams like that, particularly mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we knew when we scheduled these games to, to get them back at home, we know that it's a, it's a tougher challenge to win these games on the road. When we get them home, we feel confident that we can get that win. Mm -hmm. And I thought today was one that we knew going in that we were good enough to win it, uh, and, but we just need to play well enough. And the biggest thing I always say, we needed to make shots. And we made some shots. And making shots, if this team makes shots, uh, we're, we're a very tough team to beat. Well, Coach, it's a great, great victory. Congratulations. Thank you, Wally. Appreciate it.